Now, if you're in your 40s and you're starting to wonder why your skin suddenly feels drier, your jawline looks heavier, and your reflection just seems a little bit different, it's not in your head. It is actually hormonal changes that result in cellular changes that result in the aesthetic changes that you see. But don't panic. Today, I'm going to walk you through exactly what's happening, what you can do about it, and what treatments actually work and what you can do at home to support yourself in aging well. Perimenopause is a very important time in a woman's life, and it's a time before the menopause. Menopause is defined as the period where you stop getting periods. It's when you stop getting periods for 12 months, and people say that you are in the menopause. It's actually a retrospective diagnosis, but the perimenopause is the time before that, and that time can be anywhere from a couple of years to 10 years before you actually stop getting your periods. This is when your hormone levels start to fluctuate, particularly estrogen, progesterone, and yes, testosterone too, because testosterone, my friends, is a female hormone too. Now, this can start from your mid-30s, and these fluctuations in the hormones can wreak havoc, not just on your mood and your cycles, but also on your skin and on your face. So let's break it down. As you age, collagen production starts to decline, and this starts to happen in our mid-20s. We say that when you're 25 and above, you lose approximately 1% of your collagen year on year. But the time the perimenopause hits, this drop accelerates, so it goes from being 1% to 1.5% a year to 3% a year. Now, estrogen plays a vital role in collagen production in hydration of the skin, and even in maintaining skin thickness, as well as in maintaining bone density. So when your estrogen levels start to plummet, we start to see the effects. This can be thinner skin, looser skin, loss of volume, particularly in the cheeks and the temples, a hollowing of the eyes and under eye circles, fine lines that turn into deeper wrinkles, and for some patients, jowling and skin sagging. And this is an inevitability. It doesn't matter what age you are, it doesn't matter where you are in the world, and it certainly doesn't matter how rich you are, even the queen ages. So estrogen is an important female hormone, but in terms of your skin, this is an important hormone that actually helps to maintain collagen production. It also helps with skin hydration, and yes, it helps to protect your bone density from top to toe. And this means that as you age, you start to get resorption of your bone from top to toe. So this is your face and your long bones too. Now, fat distribution is really important because when you have fat in the face, it helps you look youthful, it helps you look plump, it helps to keep your face looking balanced. So what happens when this starts to drop? Well, we know that collagen decreases by up to 30% during the menopause, and that is significant. Now, collagen is not just there to make us look good, it's a very important protein. In fact, the most abundant protein in our bodies. It keeps our face plump, it gives structural integrity to the skin, but it also helps in wound healing. So as you lose collagen, you're more likely to have delayed wound healing. And this also shows, because your skin gets thinner, it loses its elasticity because of a different protein called elastin. And the facial fat also shifts. We lose it where we want to keep it and we gain it where we don't want it. And that means we start to lose it in the apples of our cheeks and we start to gain it here and yep, in that dreaded double chin. Now I've done a whole YouTube video on how our face ages. So we'll, we'll link that down below if you want to read more. Now bone resorption accelerates as you age, especially in the jaw and in the cheeks and also around the eyes. The result is that you have hollowing in the eyes, you have uh, jowling and sagging of the lower face and people start to feel like they look tired. They look in the mirror, and they feel that something looks a little bit off. But it's not all doom and gloom, because once we understand why it's happening, we can take action. So let's talk about treatments that are clinically proven to work. And I'm not talking about 10-step skincare routines or magic wands on TikTok. I'm talking evidence-based treatments that are clinically proven and actually work. So what treatments work in your 40s? Well, first and foremost, it's really important that we are addressing the source of the problem. And one of the problems, as we know, is loss of collagen. So it makes sense that we talk about biostimulators. Biostimulators are injectable treatments that are not hyaluronic acids, which means that these are not actually fillers that are going to volumize your face. Biostimulators are collagen's comeback kit. These can be things like Sculptra or even uh, hyperdilute radius, and we can also utilize polynucleotides. These are not fillers. These essentially are injectables that stimulate your body's own repair system and they stimulate collagen synthesis. Think of them as gym trainers for your fibroblasts. 
The fibroblasts are the cells that make collagen, they make elastin, and they also make all the good stuff in your extracellular matrix. So if you want to restore your own collagen or slowly build up volume naturally over time whilst avoiding hyaluronic acid fillers, this is a good alternative treatment. This is a perfect treatment for skin laxity, for those who want subtle lifting, for those who want to rebuild structure in the cheeks, in the temple, and the jawline. And the bonus is they don't change how you look. They just restore the architecture beneath. Now, the beauty of these particular products, both Radius, which is calcium hydroxyapatite, and Sculptra, which is a poly -L lactic acid, and even polynucleotides, is that these products have been around for decades. They are not new. Both Sculptra, Radius, and even polynucleotides have been around for over 20 years. So we know that they have a very high safety profile and a very low risk profile, and they do what they say on the tin. Now, two, strategic fillers. When I say strategic fillers, I do mean strategic. I don't mean fill your face like an eclair. Less is more in your 40s. And it's not about plumping everything. It's about precision and touching up where you need restoration. Fillers, my friends, are volumizers and therefore they should be used to replace lost volume. They should not be used to try and address lax or loose muscles. So it's important that your face is assessed and that you understand your trajectory for facial aging. In the same way that we all have unique fingerprints, we all have a unique way that our face ages and that some people might develop hollowness above and below their eye area while some develop extra fat and heaviness above and below their eye area. And so what treatments you have will depend on how you're aging. The same is true for full face aging. And it's important that where we're using fillers, we understand that, that fillers provide volumetric change and therefore should be only used for areas where you have volumetric loss. A touch in the cheeks where you're likely to lose what we call the deep medial cheek fat pad that gives you support and structure back. A little bit of support in the chin or jawline because as you're aging, your chin is going to recede backwards, creating a little bit of heaviness here. And maybe some in the temple to fill the areas where you're going to lose volume because of aging. And that helps to restore that hollowed look and take away the gaunt or tired look. The key here is restoration, not transformation. And that is the goal when you're in your 40s or 50s. Number three, neuromodulators. Now these are injectables that are also known as anti-wrinkle treatments. They are botulinum toxin type A, which are prescription only medication that should be only prescribed after an assessment with a medical professional. Now these can be used for both medical purposes and cosmetic purposes. And it's actually one of the most common cosmetic treatments worldwide. It's been around for decades and people often use them to reduce the lines and wrinkles between the frown lines. We call them number one or number, number 11 lines the crow's feet lines that show when you're smiling, or even the forehead lines. You might already be familiar with these, but in your 40s, it's not just about wrinkle prevention. We can use them in small, well-placed doses to open up the eyes and to soften the heaviness in the brow. Because here's what happens when you age. As you age, the frontalis muscle starts to get heavier, and this can make your brows heavy and also make the skin of your upper eyelid start to rest on your upper eye. That can make you look tired. Sometimes we can use botulinum toxin to gently lift the corners of the eye. You can also use them in the lower face, which is an off-label treatment, and that can help with asymmetry, or it can help to lift the corners of the mouth, particularly if you have a strong muscle pull that makes you look sad as you're aging. Now, I often have patients who come to me in their mid-40s or in their 50s that say to me, my children say that I look sad, but inside I look happy. And that's because of these muscles that are putting down called the depressor anguli oris. When you place botulinum toxin in them, it stops the downward pull, meaning you end up looking a little bit happier and a little bit more relaxed and rested. Number four, microneedling. Secret RF is one of my most favorite treatments and certainly one of the most popular treatments that we do in clinic. Now, in your 40s, your skin is thirsty literally is thirsty. The hydration drops. The amount of hyaluronic acid that you have in your skin naturally reduces. The turnover, which means how quickly you're making new skin cells, reduces. You start to see dullness on your skin, enlarged pores, fine lines, and generally lots of laxity. This is because of the loss of collagen, the loss of elastin, and the loss of hyaluronic acid. In other words, you look in the mirror and you start to feel a little bit lackluster. You wonder where the luminosity to your skin has gone and you feel a little bit meh. That's where we do microneedling with radio frequency. And the device that I love is Secret RF by Qterra. This is a global brand that's FDA approved and it combines two clinically proven technologies, microneedling, which has hundreds of clinical papers proving that creating little micro traumas in the skin stimulates new collagen 
and radio frequency, which delivers heat. And by delivering heat, we are stimulating a process called neocollagenesis, which means forming new collagen. So who doesn't want more collagen? If you do that treatment, usually we suggest a treatment once a month over the course of three months. This literally remodels the collagen underneath, plumps up the skin and gives you a more even skin tone, better appearance of pores, tighter looking skin, more even tone and a little bit more hydration and luminosity to the skin. Number five, skin boosters and hydrators. Now again, because you're losing hyaluronic acid, because your skin is changing in its integrity, the actual architecture, the anatomy of the skin is changing. Your skin is the largest organ of your body. And on the outside, it's your business card. That's what people see and that's what you see in the mirror. And so if your skin looks dehydrated, often people say, I've lost the balance in my step not just the bounce of my skin. So one of the most popular treatments is hydrating treatments. Treatments like skin boosters, Profilo or Jelly Pro Skin Boosters. These replace the lost hyaluronic acid in the skin and have been clinically proven to restore the integrity of the skin, which means you lose less water as you age. Because what we know is when you're sleeping, you're losing water from your skin, it's evaporating, and that's called transepidermal water loss. And that contributes to that feeling of dehydration and lackluster appearance. Skin Boosters by Restylane Vital. Three sessions of these over the course of three months has been proven to last over 15 months and helps to restore that hydration, that glow, and that luminosity. Amino acid replacement therapy is one of the most important treatments. And the reason why is because amino acids are the building blocks of your collagen. Without them, you simply can't make collagen. So adding these to your skin allows your skin to make the collagen that it needs. For those of you who don't want hyaluronic acid fillers or radius or sculpture or any foreign body fillers, you can actually use your own blood as what we call a biofiller. Now this is called a PRP or PRF biofiller. So what we do is we take your blood, we spin it through a centrifuge and we separate the platelet rich plasma known as a PRP from the red blood cells. And we take that platelet rich plasma and we actually reconstitute it with more of your blood to make something called PRF, platelet-rich fibrin, which is more of a jelly. We then warm it up. This makes it a gel-like substance. And we inject that into your tissues. And you can use this as a filler to replace lost volume in your cheeks, in your nasolabial fold, and really wherever you want. This is a natural filler. And the beauty of it is you will get volume replacement. And because of the release of insulin-like growth factors, you're going to get an enhancement in your own collagen production over time. So this helps with pigmentation, it rejuvenates skin texture, it boosts glow, and it helps with crepiness. The downside of this is it requires a little bit more maintenance than hyaluronic acid fillers because they don't last as long. But this is a great alternative, which is certainly picking up popularity. Now, lifestyle is a treatment too. Let's not forget the essentials. When we say beauty sleep, we actually mean it. Your face remembers every missed hour and it's vital that you get enough sleep in order to rest and rejuvenate. Nutrition too is important. As you age, you start to have a breakdown in your cellular processes. And we know that there are 12 hallmarks of aging. As you age, you're unable to break down some of the nutrition that you once did, like for example, alcohol or even gluten. And you start to get into a phase of chronic inflammation, which is one of the 12 hallmarks of aging. And it's vital that you supplement with the right things. Number one, I would advise vitamin C. Get enough of that in your diet because without vitamin C, you can't make new collagen. Number two, omega-3s, which you can get from fatty fish, things like salmon, haddock, and protein. These are absolutely vital for collagen production. Then don't forget that as you age, you also lose muscle mass and you also lose bone density. So resistance training is vital, not just for your biceps, but it also helps with insulin sensitivity and even helps to maintain skin quality. And don't forget skincare. Retinoids are amazing at stimulating collagen. SPF is a non-negotiable and peptides are more than hype. These things actually work and they help to stimulate your own collagen and repair. They're all backed by science. Think about how you can reduce stress, how you can manage that accelerated aging with that accelerated cortisol when you're running through life trying to get your work done. And this isn't just about yoga class. It's not just about Zen, but actually think about self-care as skincare too. Now, let's talk about navigating supplements in the perimenopause. And I think it's important to understand that hormonal changes occur and that's something that is going to happen to every single person. But supporting your body with the right nutrients is vital. And whilst I can't give you bespoke advice, I can give you some overarching advice that I find is suitable for most patients. Number one, it's very important that you take vitamin D, especially if you live in the UK 
and you have skin of color. Most people, unfortunately, are low in vitamin D because we don't get enough sun and we're not getting out during the day. Vitamin D is crucial for calcium absorption. It's essential for maintaining bone density and overall bone health, but also it's a hormone too and it helps with mood regulation. Vitamin D is not as effective when it's not paired with vitamin K2. So I always take vitamin D with vitamin K2 and you can get this in an easy spray. And I'm going to link the product that I use. Number two, NAD+. This is known as nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide. NAD plus is a coenzyme and this plays a vital role in cellular energy production. It helps with mitochondrial function and ATP production. And it's been extensively researched for its potential to slow down aspects of the aging process. In fact, it's clinically proven to help reduce biological aging. So this is a supplement that I would not miss. The one that I use and I recommend is called Nuchido Time Plus. I've linked it down below. And this has shown promising data and clinical evidence behind it. But that's tablet form or a capsule form. And not many people can actually tolerate that. So you can also get this in an injectable form as a precursor, but I do not suggest that you have it as an IV. If you want to know more about that, I'll make a full video all on NAD plus and the different forms that you can have. You can also have it as a liposomal form in a droplet. And again, I will link that down below. Number three, magnesium. Now magnesium comes in various different types. You can have magnesium l 3 you can have magnesium bisglycinate, you can have magnesium glycinate. Which one you take depends on what you're suffering with or what you need. But I'm going to talk today about magnesium l 3 This is essential for numerous bodily functions including cognitive health. During the perimenopause, many women experience brain fog and cognitive changes. Have you ever been in that situation where you just can't remember the words you want to say, but it's sitting there in the back of your mind? Well, that's part of the cognitive decline. And it's really a common concern for many, many women. Magnesium l is a form of magnesium that has been shown to effectively cross the blood-brain barrier thereby enhancing magnesium levels in the brain. And clinical studies have indicated that supplementation with magnesium l 3 8 can improve cognitive function like memory and learning. It's important to note that while these supplements can offer support during the perimenopause, individual needs may vary, so I always advise consulting with a healthcare professional before starting a supplement regime. If you want to book in for a consultation, you can do so below. You can also see the list of supplements that I've recommended on our website, www.skinhealth. Uh, www.skinhub.co.uk forward slash supplements. Let's keep it real. Let me say this loud and clear. Aging is not a failure. It is a privilege, but you're allowed to want to look like your best version at every stage of your life. And in your 40s, that means working with your biology, not against it. I hope you found this useful. Until next time, here's to aging wisely, beautifully, and unapologetically.